And would you look at that, another breathtaking finishing move by Grimzeal. This thing is brutal. Someone get a cleanup team down there. Now the opposing team has only one monster left. This is the final round, folks. Will this last candidate be able to turn things around for the blue team? What exactly are we dealing with here? Well, we might just have to expect the unexpected of the last member of Team Blue. This next monster is the most recent addition to the Battle Monster League, and has never been seen in public battle before. Its stats are just uploading to our screens. And there it is, our mystery contestant. They're releasing it from its container. Well, it is kind of pretty. I have to concede that. If you ask me, it looks like a larger version of the Amethyst I got my niece for her birthday last week. Of course, there's no shortage of weird battle monsters. Can you make stands of these stats for me? It would seem that this monster doesn't have any moves, only passive properties? That's correct, apparently this monster isn't capable of movement, period. As far as I can tell, it's just a piece of rock. Sure looks like it, it just sits there. Remzeal is getting impatient though, still not sure what to make of this. It certainly doesn't resemble any of the opponents our fierce predatory friend has had to face in the tournament so far. We've seen a lot of weird battle monsters over the years, many of them hardly fitting our definition of a life form. Hovering cartilage, viral clouds, but I wonder, how does this one even qualify as a battle monster? As I recall, almost anything can join the league as long as it can both sustain and inflict damage. That's why it's not allowed to just enter indestructible materials. This one isn't indestructible though. In theory, Grinzeal should be able to find a way to break it apart, especially if it uses elemental attacks. It looks like Grimzeal's come to the same conclusion. But wait, it doesn't look like it's gonna use Acid Breath. It's preparing to pounce? Ow! That is gonna leave a mark. Grimzeal just attacked its opponent head-on, dealing no measurable damage but losing several teeth and claws in the process. Looks kinda dizzy too. Could be the first sign of a brain trauma. I don't believe it. There it goes again. And again. It just keeps going. Oh, the monstrosity. You have to see it to believe it, folks! Grimzeal's hammering itself to mush on the other monster's crystalline surface! It's downright appalling! I've seen a lot of gruesome things in the arena over the years, but even this season, Battle Monster Commentator has to muster every ounce of discipline to keep watching! This is genuinely painful to watch! Clearly not as painful as Grimzeal's side of the experience, though. Its face is exploding in a cloud of blood and fangs, its front legs have become bloody stumps, and still it keeps throwing itself against its opponent! Its cries equal parts of hatred and horror! It looks like Grimzel's brain's exposed now! And it is soup! There you have it, fellow monster nerds! Nothing left of this proud champion but a twitching corpse, while the other monster just sits there as tranquil as ever. Well, technically speaking, it won fair and square, but to be honest, I don't know how to feel about this thing anymore. Yeah, just look at it, all self-righteous and playing innocent. I hate this piece of shit. They never should have allowed it in the tournament. All sparkly in the limelight like it expects is the compliment on how pretty it is. Grimzel didn't deserve to go like that. It didn't deserve to lose to something like that. The audience agrees by the sound of it, and how couldn't they? Oh, I hate this damn thing. Let's get it. Yeah, get it. It is the last thing we do.